Uh, this segment right here, Wolf, we were really we were gonna talk about Zach Gallon's masterful performance last <laughs> night, but how about we just talk to Zach Gallon because he's joining us right no, now. Well, that's it's, awesome. It's a lot easier to talk that's to him. That's great. Yes, uh, he's joining us right now on the Arizona Sports Line. Zach, uh, thank you so much for the time today. I, I'm I'm sure a lot of uh, mixed emotions, obviously, with with uh, with the way last night played out. Um, I guess let's just start there. It's it's been almost 24 hours. Just kind of how is everybody handling the end of the season? Yeah, I think um, you know it's a tough day. You got to come in and pack up your stuff, and you're not you know smelling like champagne. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you know the the way this the season went for us as a whole with think still something to be super proud of um but yeah obviously tough seeing guys in here you know packing up their lockers and whatnot and knowing that tomorrow um you know you're not gonna get to see a lot of these guys but yeah i mean um still a lot to digest and i think that's gonna take a little bit longer than 24 hours yeah no no doubt about it zach um first of all congratulations on your incredible outing yesterday how will you remember this for yourself as you get a little time and space from this season how are you going to remember your performance in 2023 yeah um obviously um try to remember it as positive as possible um i think that'll be the main takeaway but still the 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 negatives um you know allowing to drive me throughout this off season in the next year and you know throughout the rest of my career really um but yeah i mean i just i just tried to give us a chance to win last night i knew you know, our backs were against the wall and um yeah, just just try to do the best I could to keep us in. I knew I was gonna have to go pitch for pitch with Evaldi. Um and uh you know, unfortunately we just we couldn't come out on the positive end of it. Zach, I gotta tell you right now, I do you know who Walter Payton is? Do you know who Walter Payton is? I do, sweetness. I okay, do. <laughs> yes. Yes, Walter Payton. Zach, you just said the exact same thing that Walter Payton told me when I was at the uh the Pro Bowl. In Hawaii in 1987, he told me, I don't let the positives drive me. I let the negatives drive me. It, it, that's what you just said, right? What are you talking about? What negatives? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think everybody in this room, anyone that, that competes at such a uh, an elite level, um, I, I would – you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone. Most guys are going to be motivated by the failures, motivated by the negative side of it. Um, I think that's – probably a catalyst to what you know got a lot of guys and you know people that are you know ultra competitive in their field to, to where they are um and yeah i mean i, I think you know the the, the positive are, are, are a good start but i think the negative is is really when you kind of get into a, a dark place and really is what brings out the best in, in competitors we're talking to Zach Gallon. Uh, Zach, you mentioned last night you knew you were probably going to have to go pitch for pitch with uh, with Nate Evaldi. Um, was there a moment in that game or even before the game where you were like, yeah, okay, I, I have it tonight? Because it looked like after the first inning you were probably going to be locked in. Yeah, I felt um, I felt pretty solid, honestly, going into game one um, and just tried to build off of that in terms of how I was feeling um, and just you know continue to put the work in throughout the week. Um, my bullpen was okay. Um, I, I, I wasn't too happy with it, but I, I've learned, you know, throughout this game that putting putting too much stock in your in your pool in your bullpen, um, you know, whether it's, it's leading up to the game or you know that that side, you know, when you're warming up, getting ready for the game, is you, you can't really put too much stock into it. But I felt okay um, yesterday going out there, and, and things just kind of clicked. Um, but yeah, I just I just tried to really go into compete mode, um, and thankfully just. Just felt good. Was able to make pitches. Um, you know, finally be able to get out of the first inning without giving up a run. Uh, it's just something I had trouble with the last few times out. But yeah, um, you know, once I got out through the first inning, I was like, okay, all right, settle in. Um, you know, just just see what happens. Just keep making pitches. Zach, were you ever worried about the negative narrative of not being a big game pitcher? Like suddenly that was starting to form because you didn't look exactly like you did in the regular season. Did any of that narrative? that was out there did you ever hear any of that or take it to heart yeah yeah i, I think uh it's, it's hard to uh it's hard to ignore that i mean especially with with the stage we were yeah. on i mean the teams start to dwindle and, and the media coverage only starts to be about you know the, the teams that are left standing so i think it was hard to ignore for sure um but that's another that's another negative really that kind of just fueled me to, to go out there and, and just try and compete um you know, it's it's interesting because I know a lot of people don't necessarily know what what the athletes going going through, and it's you know the the age old man in the arena type of kind of yes. quote kind of theory and things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just I, I 
try to stick to my process really and, and just continue to put in the work, throw the bullpens, um, not shy away from, from the failure, try to embrace it really and, and try to, to come out on the other side of it in, in a positive note. Um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully kind of can end that, that narrative. Um, but, you know, I know there's still work to be done. I still didn't didn't pull my weight in, in the NLCS and even in game one didn't necessarily pitch how I planned to. Um, and I, I'm going to venture to say it's going to be a huge driving force in, in you know, my offseason preparation and going into next year. We're talking to Zach Gallon. Uh, you know, Zach, listening to Tori talk after the game last night, it kind of gave a sense of, you know, how how much you guys were aware of what you were doing for this city during this run. Because, you know, you never know from the outside looking in. You guys are so focused on what you're doing. Maybe you didn't have a sense of, of what was going on in the stadium with the fans and just around the Valley. Did you guys have a, a pretty good sense of, like, uh, everybody's rallying around this now? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, um, I think it's kind of a twofold answer in the sense of, you know, nobody really was saying anything um, in the clubhouse, but I think there was just kind of this quiet understanding of, of what we were doing, um, you know, hadn't been done here and, you know, hadn't been in the World Series in 20-plus years. Um, the city hadn't really had a team to necessarily be super proud of and, and cheer on, you know, this late into the season and, and hadn't seen October baseball, um, you know, in a while. So, yeah, I mean, I think we we knew what, what, what was at stake and, um, you know, hopefully that the city was – you know, proud of us for this journey we took them on. Um, and yeah, and ho- hopefully next time around things are a little bit different. And, you know, there's going to be a parade and champagne and all kinds of things and, you know, be able to show up to the fans just like they, they showed us throughout this ride. You know, one of the things that I'm most excited for all of you in regard to getting better as you go forward is just the fact that this experience, you, you just can't. <laughs> You cannot buy an experience like this. You really cannot. And it's going to help you become a better player. Do you agree with that? And how do you think it might help some of the younger guys in particular? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, going back to the to the negatives that drive you, I think this since this thing obviously ended in, um, you know, a disappointing fashion is that I think you're going to see a lot of young guys in here. One, have, have belief in themselves that, they can compete and they can uh, succeed at this this stage um, this early in their career. But I think ultimately what you're going to see is a lot of guys who are driven um, and hungry by, you know, the, the failure of getting this close and almost being able to taste it and, and you know, it gets ripped away from you in, in an instant. So uh, I think I think you're going to see a, a positive come from a negative um, just in the sense that, you know, I mean, I I remember watching the Derek Jeter documentary, and he talked about you know when they lost the World Series in '95 or '96, whatever year that was, and just you know he he kind of just touched on the fact that you don't want to ever have that feeling again. And obviously, you know, things aren't going to always work out that way. You're not going to be able to win the World Series 15 years in a row, but you know, just always having that in the back of your mind of like, all right, I don't just I don't want to feel that ever again. I want to you know be able to propel us to the to the promised land. Zach, when when do you think you're going to be able to let this go? Uh, I, I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe never. Um, I, I think um, you know it's always going to be in the back of your mind until maybe you, you win the big one. I think is is when you can can let it go. Um, but I think you know it's still always going to be in the back of my mind that you know we 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 failed. Really, is is what it comes down to, plain and simple. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's going to take a little time to. I think honestly set in and then you know there's there'll be multiple stages of um you know lack of a better word grieving i guess you could say well zach we appreciate Dude. the time you gave us all season man you were really great about that all year all the way thank back you, to spring man. training thanks for the ride good luck man yeah thanks guys thanks for having me right on zach that's uh, zach gallon joining us right there on the arizona sports line that was I love that. Pretty, pretty candid. I mean, he's always candid with his Just answers. Candid, man. And we've talked to him a lot Just on the show, but we have never talked to him after the World Series on the show. Matter of fact, right there.